As dialed in as anyone when it comes to Canadian football, pleased to be joined by Julio Caravada. And Julio, year after year, the Montreal Alouettes set the standard and the class in the Canadian Football League. What do you make of the mess that's yeah. going on right now with the Owls, man? Yeah, it's it's so unusual for us, Rash, to be talking about the Montreal Alouettes this way. Uh, that th it is just a mess after three weeks because we've been used to such a high standard there. Uh, obviously, the success that the Alouettes have had and the success that Mark Cressman had coming into this league, uh, at, at, with having no experience in the Canadian Football League, there's a lot of pressure on Dan Hawkins to kind of repeat that. It would have been seamless, and obviously that's not the case. Mike Miller, the offensive coordinator, has come in. He has no CFL experience. You can just tell Rash that this team just doesn't have the confidence right now in that offensive system. You can see it in the way that Anthony Calvillos uh, looks on the field, his demeanor. There's, they're just not in sync. Cavis Reed. <laughs> he looked more like a professional wrestler, Julio, 20 minutes after the locker yes. room opened after that loss to the Lions. He was seething. What kind of message is this for a team that yeah. looks ordinary at best through three weeks? Well, I think we all know Cavis, and I think watching Cavis during the games, you can see the emotion and the passion that he has for the game. Um, you know, given the fact that this this rant was about 20 minutes after the game, kind of tells me a little bit of two things. That I think, you know, he thought about it. He knew what he was going to do. But I think at the same time, you're seeing that raw emotion come out. He's right. 41 penalties. They lead the league in penalties. They took 11 against the Lions. They've had 10 of those penalties have been roughing penalties. They, they just make mistakes that are killing drives and for a coach that's still trying to find his way. And, and here's the other thing too, Arash. They played two games the last couple of weeks in, in the worst conditions I think I've seen in a long time in the Canadian Football League. And so I don't think we can get a real a testament to what, how, what kind of team they are. But man, oh man, Cavis has got to get that team's attention. I think he has. With that outburst, I think he has gotten their attention, and we'll see how they respond here this week in, in British Columbia. That is Julio Caravada, our CFL insider.